Hello, guys. ¿Me escuchan? Hello. Yes. Hello. Good evening, you, teacher. teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo se encuentra? So far, so good, teacher. Oh, cool. <laughs> Okay. One more. Okay. If you okay, chicos, um, como les comenté día de ayer, si en dado caso pues tuvimos un inconveniente, pues ahí está. Good night, guys. Okay. Oh, for today, I am in my home, and as I mentioned yesterday, we will provide three minutes in order to wait. For the rest of our participants. Remember, if you have some difficulties with internet or due to the weather, please Good evening. record those issues through WhatsApp. And let me know how was your day, guys. Well, my day was really good. Mm -hmm. I've been driving. I made outside. I almost, uh, I every day eat here at home. So for me, go out and eat outside is something really good. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Brandy. Maybe yeah. let me know how was your day. And good evening to everyone. Uh, really was pretty busy. Uh, I did uh, a little about anything. <laughs> And I I went to the gym also, so I'm really tired. Okay, thank you so much for those details, maybe. And what about you, Jamie? Hi, Hi, uh, yes. Uh, yes, to, today was, was a good day. It was busy as well, as our partner said. And... I uh, was uh, just making my work and even this in this moment I was starting a little bit. I was completing my platform as well, but I have found that, that some exercises there, uh, probably the, the website is wrong because I enter, I think I entered the, the right information, but it is like taking this information as if we're bad or wrong. Thank you so much for letting us know. Yes. Jamie. And don't worry, uh, we will solve all the tests and the <clears throat> and the practices that we uh, that the platform has uh, okay. during Thank the you. class. But don't worry. Thank you so much for letting us know. Um. Okay. It's eight o three. It's time to start. And remember, it's raining right now. If we got difficulties, please let us know through WhatsApp. Uh, well, yesterday uh, we were, uh, we introduced ourselves. Also, we learned about this one. Adjectives and nouns using the present participle, oh, sorry, the past participle verbs. Yesterday we learned we have two ways in order to describe problems using a parse parsable as an adjective. What are those structures? Well, they have the first one is this one. Place the parsable as an adjective at the end. And maybe you are asking to hey, and what is the structure? It's simple. You has to add in this kind of cases in the second one, uh, third one, and uh, fourth one. Then now at the beginning, plus the verb be, and then the past participle. Hey, what about the first one? Well, this <clears throat> ing verb doesn't represent a uh, ing verb. It's like as a describing adjective. 
What is the other way? Well, we just have to use there is or there are and a preposition after that. The noun that we will use it could be dama, sheep, stain, scratch, leak, whatever that we got it. And the complement. Is another way? Yes. This one. With the verb have or has. That was the the aims that we learned yesterday, guys. I am so proud of you that uh, you already did uh, the platform and right now to start today we will do this knowledge job together just a second let me start to share i need to uh, erase the answers okay guys just a second, just I need to, to refresh this. Okay, Megua, the website is, uh, is loading again. Please open your platform right now. Just a second. It's ready. Okay, guys, I need a volunteer. Brandy? Yeah, what do you need? Uh, can you read the instruction, please? Oh, yeah. Read the comments from the customers in a restaurant. You may write your sentences with past participle or with nouns. Use forms of the word in parentheses. How you pronounce the last part? Parentheses is okay? okay. You don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, right now, can you hear me better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I said uh, that we got a tool that we can help the to us, uh, everyone, to know how do I pronounce a word. Play some Google Translate, but please don't pay attention in this part, just this part. Click on the speaker and listen. Parentheses. Okay. Parentheses. Yeah, so it's okay. <laughs> Parentheses. Parentheses. Okay, I pronounce okay. Yes. Thank you. Just use the stress word here and peace. Parentheses. Parentheses. Yes. Parentheses. That's okay. Perfect, Got it. Okay. The first one. Can you choose a brandy someone to help us with the first one? Yeah, let me see. My big team will be Jensen. Thank you. Can you Jensen, help Andrea, Melendez, my gym. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's me. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I uh, well, in the afternoon, I try to do that, but uh, I don't have any correct. So I'm going to try. This tablet table, tablecloth isn't very clean. It stained. 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 Uh -huh. It's perfect. But let me know. It stained. Or it stay as it is. Mm -hmm. it, it, has. Has. it is a stain. Oh, it has. Don't forget, place the period. Okay, uh, it's an important thing. 
Uh, okay. Listen. If you don't add a period at the end of your sentence, incomplete. It's not a period. It's a uh, teacher, uh, teacher, is. Uh, I think you have a problem with your microphone because I'm very Okay, uh, let me verify. Thank you so much for letting me know that. Right now, I will try to solve it. Just give me a second. No, it's better. It's better? Yeah. Okay, just give me a second. I need to... Uh, the microphone was Jancy. <laughs> Jancy has a very close her mouth, the microphone. No, I, I, mm -hmm. I couldn't hear the teacher very well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's okay. Maybe it's rainy uh, close to Jancy's house. It probably be, it could be that, but don't worry. Okay, Jancy. Don't worry, it's okay. And your answer is correct. It's a stain. Remember the structure. We have to add a modal verb. In this kind of cases, the modal verb, it would be the verb B. Okay, Yancy, um, don't forget someone. Uh, don't forget uh, this one, guys. If we fall or if we, it's in order to learn how to rise. Si nosotros caemos, chicos, no se preocupen. Es para que aprendamos a cómo levantarnos. Si ustedes fallaron ahora, como fue Yancy, que dijo que había fallado en, en el knowledge check, no se preocupen. Así aprende uno a ensayo y error. Thomas Edison no construyó, no hizo la bombilla el primer intento. Supuestamente. Lo he dicho, pero uh -huh. aún lo tengo incorrecta, no sé por qué. It's okay. Te voy a enseñar algo. Y eso va para todos. Uh, probably this one, the incorrect part, the apostrophe. In our computer, we can find two symbols I like the same but I type it has a stain mm -hmm. it it has a stain the either like brandy it has a stain mm. ah, ya me salió bueno, but it is stained mm. no. oh maybe stain. because I have one rose I can see the because there are two forms for be correct I think Three. Okay, three. Let me show you but uh when we finalize. Just a second. Mm -hmm. Oh my bad. It's force. Four. Solo déjeme borrar las respuestas, chicos, porque yo cuando lo vuelvo a refrescar aparecen y no quiero que las vean. Okay. Yes, because you're the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jancy, who will be our next participant? Big team. Okay. Um, Maximo. Maximo, can you help us, please? Good evening. Good evening, Maximo. Okay. Could we have another water picture? picture mm -hmm. this one is leaking that's perfect yes. or Remember has a leak for later why we use leaking instead of past participle that don't think about it because later we learn about it but thank you maximo you did a great job can you choose your or next victim, please? Mm -hmm. Raul de Jesus Benitez. Raul, can you help us, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, the table. Uh, the table looks. Pretty dirty. 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 Mm -hmm. dirty. The table looks pretty dirty. 
the good is to the the wood is to scratch it. Right. Perfect, Raul. Okay, Raul. Let me help them to you and let me uh, try to practice some something with you. Okay, I need that you read again this, but divide uh, it in three pieces. First of all, I need that you said the table after good looks pretty dirty. And let that way. First one, this part. ¿Puede leer esto, Raúl? Esta parte. Hola. Uh, the table. Ahora, lea este. Looks. Y ahora, lea de aquí, aquí. Pretty dirty. Vale, ahora haga esto. Lea eso. The table looks. Pretty no. dirty. Perfecto. Una vez más, pero ahora léalo todo. The table looks pretty dirty. Excelente. Sin pronunciar la T de la dirty. dirty. Pretty. Pretty dirty. Ok. Ahora bien, si se fijan, guys, para poder mejorar nuestra fluent, es importante que leamos. Podemos encontrar tanto vocabulario como, pues, aflojar la lengua. Si usted siente que se traba y se traba y se traba, hágalo por partes. Comience así, así. The table looks pretty dirty. After that, try to use more words. The table looks pretty dirty. Muy bien. Habiendo dicho esto, ok, Raúl, who will be our next big team? Mavi. Um, Okay, maybe it's your turn. My turn. Okay. Um, the waiter needs a new shirt. The one he's wearing is torn. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And maybe who will be the next one? Next one will be uh, Morena. Morena, can you help us, please? Yes, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to, to help you. <laughs> Could you bring me another cup of cup of coffee? This cup is, is cheap. Cheap. Keep. Remember the song as at the end. Okay. okay. The walls. Okay. The last one. Who will be the last participant, Morena? Who will be your last victim? Okay. Okay. Oh, I can see the, all of the. I can see um, yeah. I will pick someone for you. Vanessa, can you help us please? Okay, Vanessa, thank you. You're welcome. The the world really need pain. And the cell selling is damaged. Perfect. Okay, guys. My bad. Okay, guys, perfect. With the first one, let me show you something. Let me turn just a moment, guys. Okay, with the first one, these are 
answer. It's stained or it is a stain or it has a stain. And the last one, it has a stain on it. Those can be the answer, guys. Stain, it is a stain, or it has a stain. And the last one, it has a stain on it. Well, guys, next one, we got a listen exercise. Please, guys, if you are not a, in a quiet place, please try to find a quiet place right now because we'll, we will start with this. Just give me a second. I need to erase this one. Okay, I need a volunteer, guys. I need a volunteer, first one. Uh, who is using a laptop or a computer? Okay, uh, Brandy, can you share your uh, your platform in the listening exercise, please? Yeah, I will try because the platform is is on the in, on my phone right now. Ah, it's on your phone. Ah, it's okay. Yeah. In this kind of case, no. I just give me a second. <laughs> okay. The, okay. <clears throat> and just a second, guys. If I chose right now my platform, you will be able to see the answer. Es inglés corporativo punto net, ¿verdad? Yes, that's right. Okay, uh, who has the platform open on the laptop? Or oh, is already done, Brandy? No, teacher. Okay, maybe it's, you share the, it's okay, Brandy. The next one, the next time you will be the lucky one. Okay. Okay, maybe can you share your screen, please, on the platform? Second. Teacher. Yes. I am trying to share, but appear a, a, a Windows host disabled participant screen sharing. Mm -hmm. There is someone already uh, sharing the screen that is you. <laughs> it's me. Oh, my bad. Um, no, he's not showing right now. Okay, guys, uh, we will listen to uh, the audio first one. And after that, uh, you will be giving me or discussing the answers. Okay, go ahead. Listen to three customers return an item they purchased. What's the problem? Take notes. Then complete the chart. One. Can I help you? Yes, I bought this briefcase here last week. But there's something wrong with the lock. I can't get it to close properly. Let me see. 
Yes, I see what you mean. The lock seems to be jammed or something. No problem, I'll get you another one. Sorry about that. Two. Excuse me. Yes? I wonder if you could take a look at these shoes I bought here. They're pretty new, but they seem to be falling apart. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this doesn't look right. The stitching is coming out. How long did you say you've had them? Only about a month. Here's the receipt. Hmm, yes. Well, let me exchange these for you. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Three. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? You see this shirt? I bought it here a few weeks ago, but the first time I washed it, the color changed. It went from bright red to light pink. How did you wash it? Well, I just tossed it into the washing machine with my other clothes. What temperature did you use? I usually wash my clothes in hot water, so I guess hot. Well, did you check the washing instructions? Um, maybe not. Well, you see here on this label, it says wash in cold water only. Uh-huh. So I'm really sorry, but since you didn't follow the washing instructions, I can't really do anything for you. Okay, guys, what do you think about this audio? Mm -hmm. Ajá, chicos, ¿qué opinas sobre el video? Well, it's really good because you have to pay attention and what is the problem. For example, I have problem with uh, type the briefcase. I didn't know what it was, so it was something good because I didn't know. And I had to use Google Translate and I knew and I had to write. And well, I think it was a good video or audio thing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brandy. Yes, of course. You can learn many vocabulary there. Oh, for example, um, how to apologize uh, for an inconvenience. You can uh, listen that. Also, how to apply our policy and the items that you are using. In this kind of cases, I guess this audio can help a lot of for the people that wants to work in a call center or work in call center. Okay, for the first answer, Jamie, can you provide me the first answer for this exercise, for the listening exercise, please? Okay, just a second, please. I, I put briefcase. The item was briefcase. Can you spell to me, please? B R I E F C A S E. Thank you. And BSM Boy or BSM Victor? BSM Boy. Excellent. Next mm -hmm. answer. Um, now let me see. Jancy, can you help us with the next answer, please? Uh, is the person done with teacher? No. Oh. Do you have all you the use? Yes, the one point two, right? Mm -hmm. No. One point three. Okay. Uh, it's the one point one. The... What is the problem in the briefcase? And the first mm -hmm. one point one. No, the, the second look doesn't work. Thank you, Jancy. Okay, uh, our next participant. Who will be our next participant, Jancy? Um, maybe. Thank you, maybe. Go ahead. What is the answer for the next question? The one point two. 1.2 is uh will the started exchange it yes mm -hmm. 
what would be the oh, the answer? It would be just yes, or it's necessary to add something else, guys. Yes, um, uh, the the way the way um, the person who is attending the the store will change um uh, will change the briefcase mm, yeah. for another one. But we can do in a short word. Who remember the structure to answer yes or no questions? Yes. <laughs> yes, she she did. Yes, they will. Oh, they will. Okay. Because if you see, okay, let me show you this. Yeah, this one I can show. You. Yeah, for the question. Yeah, if you can see the modal verb here is this <laughs> one, is will. For that reason, if we yeah. will be answered, you have to use the will. Hey, yes. They will. They will. Thank you. Okay, the next one, the number two. What is the item, hey, Raul? Hello, teacher. Hello. Did you call me? Yes, I, yes, I call you. Can you help me uh, giving me the name of the item on the number two? The name of the item, teacher. I'm sorry, teacher. I can't uh, hear it uh, very well. Don't worry, uh, Raul. Uh, but right now you can pick no, no, no. up you. Hello? You can pick someone to help you. I I alguien, Raúl. Eh, um, Morena Francisca. Thank you, Raúl. I'm going to help with this. Uh, the item number two, right? Mm -hmm. Shoes. Mm -hmm. Shoes. Um, we can say in a different say in a different way. Can we say it in a different way? Yancy, can you help us? <laughs> can we say yes. the, the answer in a different way? In the choose? Mm. Between coming apart and falling apart, teacher. What's the problem? Uh, yes. You can you uh, we will use choose also the word but yes uh, the falling apart. Mm -hmm. We can say that or we can say a pair of shoes. Oh yeah, yeah. It's choose. <laughs> it's a choose a pair of shoes. Okay, and let me know, Moreno, who will be our next participant? Okay, um. Maximo, please help us. Con with the number 2.1. What was the problem? We can listen to you. I can he I can't hear well. Don't worry, you can choose someone to help you. Mm -hmm. mm. Jaime Roberto Aldana. Mr. Aldana, can you help us, please? Hello, yes. Uh, what is the question? Then Sorry. what is the is the number two point one? Two point one. What is the problem? nobody is on the classes? Never pay attention. <laughs> I didn't say anything. It okay. was friendly. I I, I, I know, teacher. <laughs> I, I, think, I think. I think. Sorry. I think the answer is falling apart, and. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. 
And Brandy, can you give me the two point two? Yes, they will. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And number three, Vanessa, can you help me with the name of the item, please? Item. Yes, I can hear. But I have a problem with my phone. You can pick someone else. I can see. Okay, in este caso, Vanessa, yo le voy a ayudar. Yo voy a decirles cuál es el número tres. Sure. It's a shirt. Sure. Yes. Right now, I need a volunteer. How was the problem, guys? The color change. Thank you, Maximo. Okay, maybe. And the color, the color, the color change. of the picture, the picture and change. The color of the shirt, remember. Of the shirt uh -huh. changed. changed, but the problem mm -hmm. was when the customer uh, didn't read the, the, um, the instruction to wash it. Didn't read. Mm, we can yes. use another verb. The okay. customer didn't follow. Follow the, the instructions. instructions. The was instructions. That's the main problem. The customer didn't follow the uh, was instructions. Okay, maybe let me know what is the answer for the three point two. Is uh no the store won't. Mm -hmm, that's perfect. Thank you guys. I appreciate so much your participation. I know I know many of you have. Uh, technical issues in this class, and I know it's for the rainy, but please, it's necessary to pay attention in order to improve ourselves. Well, guys, we will continue with the next part of our platform. Right now, just I need to know, do you have doubt or question about the eyes that we already uh, discussed? Tenemos dudas o preguntas, guys? Señor Jaime, le veo cara de dudas. Everything okay, teacher. Like or I don't know creo, if you were Yo creo que en la primera parte solamente de diferenciar cuando realmente son nombres y adjetivos, pero eso digo que con el tiempo, solo con practicarlo, porque así nomás. Está difícil. Aunque en la primera parte hay instrucciones. Si te fijas, las estructuras te dicen más que todo cuando vas a ocupar un adjetivo o un noun. Muy bien. Les estaba comentando que estoy trabajando en el PDF para estas, estas secciones, 1 y 2, que vamos a ver esta semana, ¿correcto? Aún sí. no lo he terminado, porque sí he tenido que venir corriendo. From so far, play. Teacher, Ajá. sorry, teacher. But the first exercise, the last one, number number six, only is damaged, but I don't know why the platform um, no recognize, I don't know. Did you add a point? Did you yes. add a period at the end? A yes. Period. Yes. Yes, I did. And just place is damage without any any space after damage? Only is space damage. I will report. Period. If you can uh, take a screenshot and send it to us through the web, through, sorry, through the WhatsApp group, it would be great. Okay. Someone else has the same issues on the number six? Alguien más tiene el mismo error? Sometimes maybe you have to delete everything or go back and come again because it's like a the screen, like a, it's frost. So you have to like refresh the computer. And yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I was thinking about it, that, yes. Yeah, just do it. Thank you, thank you for your advice. You're welcome. Thank you, Randy. I appreciate so much. I just have an observation, teacher, mm -hmm. that in the first uh, test or quiz, um, mm -hmm. the structure in the first answer it include, includes the pronoun, 
the subject, sorry, mm -hmm. but only in that answer. In this one? It is, yes. Mm, it's not complete, it just shows part, it and stain. Yes, yeah. and it was a bit confusing for me because I thought that we had to put the, the subject in all of the answers. <laughs> Yes, let me know. Sometimes they say you only have to do the last part, and at the end, if you don't type the whole sentence, yeah, everything will be wrong. It's just uh, you have to be um, right or that type of yeah. You have to play right. with this computer. <laughs> okay. This is yes. once another one, and hardly ever the platform. Uh, giving to you the option to write it down or typing all uh, the sentence without contraction. Try to do it. Try to avoid contraction. If it's not working, okay, it's normal that to use a contraction, but you can use the correct apostrophe because sometimes, sometimes we can use this one. Yes. A second, I need a whiteboard here. Okay, we can use. Uh, just give me a second. It's not this. This one. Or this one. If you can see, the first one is a period. Sorry, it's apostrophe. But the second one is not an apostrophe. It looks like an apostrophe, but it's not it is. Okay, please be careful when you use an apostrophe because if you probably are you using the correct grammar, but you are typing the wrong tab. Okay, uh, sorry, the wrong key. Right now, and uh, second. Okay, we will continue, guys, because we have to continue, and for today we will practice or reading. Okay, next one. It yeah, we see this and this one. Participant will listen to a conversation about problems. See, keep and need with gerunds and need with passive infinitives in context. What will we do here? We will use need plus gerunds or passive infinitive. Okay, I know. All of you guys right now got a face with a lot of doubt, but in order to answer all your doubt and question, it's necessary to pay attention in this video. Please be careful and pay full attention. Hello, has it ever happened to you that everything goes wrong? Sometimes everything needs to be fixed because everything keeps on breaking. Now listen to the conversation and find out what happened to these people. Don't forget to practice the conversation. Page 38. Exercise 6. Conversation. It keeps burning. Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hello, Ms. Locke. This is Jack Burr. Uh, Mr. Burr? In apartment 305. Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay. I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Ms. Locke. Uh, by the way, Mr. Burr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Ouch. Listen to another tenant calling Ms. Locke. What's the tenant's problem? Hello? Hello. Is this the manager? Yes. This is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a problem with the electricity. 
What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights, or is it the appliances, too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. You noticed another tenant called? What was the tenant's problem? Type your answers on our discussion box. <clears throat> okay, guys, what do you think about this video? Page. Mm -hmm. Senor Maximo, what do you think about this video? It's a conversation between two two people. Mm -hmm. uh, he he say his problems to Mrs. Um, Luck. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Also, uh, you can see mm. in the he mm -hmm. go ahead. He explained her. Uh, he needs. Uh, he explained that the oven is 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 wrong, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. he 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 needs to adjust the oven to mm -hmm. cook well. It's probably that he needs to adjust uh, his oven in order to uh, or 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 he doesn't cook well. Mm, I guess it's the first. But, uh, let me ask you something. Uh, okay, guys, I guess one of you noticed this. What do you think about the tone of voice? Mm -hmm. About Miss Luck. Brandy, can you help us? Did you notice something uh, something different or something weird in the tone of voice? Sorry, but I couldn't hear what do you need because uh, I'm not... Yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, can you listen me better? Yeah, yeah, now it's yes. better. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, uh, do you notice something weird or something interesting in the tone of voice of Miss Luck? Well... I I can't see this part when it's wrong with it. They they didn't mention uh, the problem with something. You know they they mentioned before, so they say with it, and uh, that the part that you match uh align, uh, say the verb is in past that should be uh fixed. I don't know okay. if it is. This is the if the idea. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, guys. Primero que nada, sí, les agradezco a todos ustedes eh, su participación. Ahora bien, respondiendo a su pregunta, señorita Friend, y lo diré en español para que no crea mucha confusión. Muy bien. A pesar que ustedes miran aquí, the temperature control needs to be adjusted. Este no es que esté mal. Si nosotros venimos Aquí, al 1.4, se nos dice que nosotros vamos a, a, brindar, a aprender con gerundios y passive infinitives. Entre esos están estos. Quiere decir que nosotros vamos a ver aquí, en esta parte, después del need, ya sea un gerundio o un verbo con ID at the end. Ahora bien, lo que quería corrobor eh, corroborar, si lo habían notado, y eso nos puede pasar a mucho en lo personal me pasó, es que cuando hablamos en inglés podemos sonar un poquito sarcástico. ¿Cómo podemos sonar sarcástico? En esto, ¿verdad? 
Permítame que cargue. Page 30. Cuando la señorita Locke re, eh, contesta y sabe sobre el problema, o sea, lo primero que contesta dice, Does your refrigerator need to fix again? Aquí ah. vemos así como... Sarcástico. Normal. O sea, si yo lo digo, lo podemos decir de forma sarcástico y también lo podemos decir de una forma normal. Como, what can I do for you? Eh, do you need assistance with your refrigerator? Puede ser algo polite, pero... Does, what, do you, uh, what can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need to fix again? This is the first one. The second one. It's when Mr. Burr express what it happened that says, ah, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. And the oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. The first answer is really? Es como cuando estamos trabajando y estamos pensando. ¿Serio? Y te dice, a de veras. Métame locuras. Así. It's like that. Try to avoid this kind of expression. Because it sounds like <clears throat> sarcastic. Uh, okay, right now. Really? No. This? I'm kidding. Okay. After that, we'll listen a second conversation. Who remember the name of the customer in the second conversation? No, I don't remember. Someone else? Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. No, no remember. <laughs> Just try to pay attention on the problem. The problem was the light. Okay, first one. The problem was the light. Jaime, uh, Mr. Lock asked about it was just lights or it was everything in the room? I think he thought that everything in the room, maybe the, the electric service was wrong or damaged. And, and that's what I understand and understood. Sorry. <laughs> you are, you have the house. Yes, it's true. Yes. It's the electrical. The electrical system is damaged. It's not working proper. Yes. But also, Miss Locke asked for that. Hey, is just your lie or is everything in the room? And what was the answer for the guest? Uh, I, the, 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 the I guest? heard that that he said only only the lights were damaged. And, uh, like because of the refrigerator have light. Have yes. Light. yes. That's the answer that I want to listen. Uh, because she check it out. The refrigerator. <laughs> Thank you, Brandy. Okay. Um okay, guys. I know that one of you know this answer. What was the no the room number? The room number. Six six oh <laughs> five. No, two oh five should be and start with okay. Type in type in your answer on the chat, please. <laughs> I will say I don't remember. Yeah, I just remember it was two something. Type your answer on the chat, everyone. I need nine a answer. I need a answer on the chat. Mm -hmm. I only will type the yes, 200 because that 200. <laughs> I don't remember the last name. Yes, I pay attention. 200 Just and, and the problem. <laughs> okay, 205, 208. 208, okay. Uh -huh. Someone else, someone else. No hagan trampa. No escuchen el video. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's missing six people more. <laughs> they are. Listen to the video. Uh -huh. They are listening to the video right now. Okay, guys. <laughs> doesn't <laughs> count. Doesn't count. <laughs> doesn't count. It's true. I will play one more time the video and listen carefully. Just that part. Zlock. 
What's the tenant's problem? Hello? Hello. Is this the manager? Yes. This is Ms. Locke. This is Lula Harris in apartment 216. Yes. How can I help you, Mrs. Harris? I'm having a... What is the last name of the guest? Harris. 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 Lula Harris. And, uh, no, the number of the room. The room number. 216. No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. 216. Okay. Try to pay attention and what will be the step to solve these issues. Problem with the electricity. What sort of problem with the electricity? Well, it keeps going off and coming back on again. I see. Is it just the lights or is it the appliances too? Let me check. No, the refrigerator is okay, so it must be just the lights. I guess the fuse box needs to be checked. I'll come up and take a look at it right away. Thanks so much. Okay, what would be the solution? Take a look. <laughs> uh huh. Take a look off. Uh, what? Take, Take a, a look, look the lights or electricity. Mm, the box fuse. The, I can't, I couldn't pronounce this word. The, the, the box of what? The, like a fusible fuse. or something like Fuse. Fuse. Uh, sure. <clears throat> like the, like the, like the brand of the teeth. Fuse. It's sure. The no, can, can you can you type please? <laughs> okay, just give me a second. I it's just I can't read your 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 mouth. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Just give me a second. Pero antes antes de compartirles eso quiero mostrarles algo. Voy a pasar la tapa ahí. Just a second, guys. Okay, it's done. Okay, como ya casi es tiempo, guys. Two minutes, huh? Oh. Just two minutes. Okay, we'll be beginning with this. Fuse. Fuse. Okay. Fuse. Fuse. Box, that's that's I got it. Box, box use. Okay, okay, guys. La próxima vez, la mañana, mejor dicho, procuraremos ponerle un poquito más de agilidad a la clase. El día de ahora tuvimos ciertos inconvenientes técnicos a la hora de poder compartir pantallas debido a que en mi plataforma, como yo tengo que ir revisando y preparando el material educativo cada día para poder solo brindar. Tengo que venir y hacer los nobles. Y es, sería, pues, darles a ustedes ya la comida masticada, como si fuera Gerber, para que ustedes lo dijeran. Y no es así. Ustedes ya son literalmente adultos o jóvenes en el idioma inglés. Todos ustedes manejan ya un idioma bastante fluido. Ocupan bastante lo que son linking words, adverbs, adjectives, nouns, en una sentencia. Por lo tanto, no me puedo dar yo el lujo de venir y mostrarles eso. Si el día de mañana alguien puede eh, compartir eh, la plataforma, sería genial. Eso estaría perfecto. ¿Por qué? Porque el día de hoy yo tenía planeado los últimos 15 minutos dedicarles a esto. Perdón por, por la advertencia. Pero esto. ¿Quién leyó el principito cuando... Bueno, ¿quién ha leído desde el principio? Levante la mano que se le vea la, ahí en la pantalla, al menos. Porque es hora. ¿Quién no ha leído? Jaime, la señorita. I Brandy. did it. Yeah. What about you, maybe? Me too. Thank you, Morena. Oh. Jancy. 
Did you read El Principito? Have you read or oh, have you read the, the Principito? ¿Alguna vez los leído? What? Ya has leído El Principito. Ah, yes, yes. In the third grade. <laughs> yes. What about you, Raúl? Máximo, Vanessa. Me too, teacher. No, teacher. Ok, ya tenemos dos personas que no, no se preocupen. Vanessa. Yes, I do. Okay. Yo sé que todo ya lo leímos y muy probablemente es en español. Pues miren cómo se los tengo aquí. Y esto es lo que vamos a hacer. Teacher, can you send you, can you send in PDF? Eh, no, porque está aquí en una website. Les puedo enviar el link para ¿El que link? lo vayan leyendo. Okay. Pero eso lo haré después de practicar con ustedes. Primero quiero medirlos a ustedes cómo están con su reading. Mañana eh, necesito que piensen en dos números. Del 1 al 27. El día de mañana quiero que piensen en esos dos números. Duerman tranquilamente, solo piensen en dos números. Del 1 <risa> al 27. ¿No vayan a pisar o qué? No, lo que vamos a hacer será lo siguiente. Vamos a elegir con uno de esos dos números uno de los capítulos y con el otro número usted va a elegir el capítulo de su próxima edición y luego de eso vamos a leer un párrafo Esta, este tipo de dinámica espero que dure al menos solo 15 a 10 minutos, no mucho lo suficiente para poder participar al menos tres de nosotros así es que no, no es sin notificación señorita Brandy ok, the time is over guys Can you can you share the link just for try to read? Of course, I will do it on the WhatsApp group after the classes. Okay, guys, okay. it was more than a pleasure to me uh, share this Bye. hour with you. Have a wonderful night and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.